Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. So today we are going to try out this tiny device. So this is Nokia's Nokia 2630 released back in 2007 and compared to today's device as you can see it is really thin. It is 9.9 .9 mm thick. If you compare with 2007 devices most of them used to be very thick but this one is really thin actually and it is really lightweight device surprisingly this device still works so let me turn it on so as it is turning on so we are getting a barrel jack here to charge the device 2.5 mm headphone jack on the back we got a bga camera and a mirror to take selfies so if you really want to take selfies with this device you can actually so on the right hand side there is nothing the speaker is here and there is a linear holder and then also here is one so there is two so in front we have our keypad and the display here is actually 1.8 inch and the resolution is 128 by 160 and the pixel density is 140 so this is isn't uh like nokia's typical devices which get like 240 by 320 display so this one is really basic device and it does support all the multimedia things like Nokia's S40 things but one of the thing missing on this device is that it doesn't support micro SD card although it's got camera and it got everything actually like music player and everything it, everything is there but you can't really put a SD card here that's kind of sucks but the device is really tiny also although this one is a vga camera you are also getting a shutter button here if you press the shutter button it should turn on the camera as you can see the camera is turned on in the viewfinder the image does look a little bit blurry but when you take the picture uh, nokia processes the picture and it does look good after that as you can see here also you can record videos here as you can see here you can record videos and it is not really that bad I did record some videos with this device. I will put them. Other than that, if you go to the menu, we are getting like messenger, contact, log, and settings, and everything. And even you can browse internet here. And you can still browse internet as you can see here. I put my SIM card here. 2G network is working perfectly fine no issue with network I can call I can receive phone call the basic things why this device actually built it's still working perfectly fine like phone call and messaging you will not have any issue with those things if you are in an Asian country or somewhere where 2G network is still working so this device still works perfectly fine so in the setting we do have profile we have themes there are few themes and you if you want themes you can put them by downloading on your other phone and just share them by bluetooth the internal storage here is 11 mb so for your games and songs and everything just you are getting 11 mb here and as i said no micro sd card slot so you are stuck with 11 mb only so there are a few themes here as you can see i'm sticking with the original one it does look good going back we do have a few other things here so if you go to tones So the speaker here is actually really good this this device got a really good speaker uh, for this tiny device it's really good if i go back there are a few more things in the setting basically all the s40 devices do get these features whatever those are flagship or their expensive one or the cheaper one all of them get same kind of ui a few other things here like shortcut you can change the shortcut nothing more actually uh, in terms of games so if we go to application section games i did install few games here i just downloaded them on my another phone and just sent them by bluetooth and even i have installed jtube here so there are three pre-installed games sudoku snake and mikey's world and i did install jtube here but jtube doesn't work although it's try to load and it crashed anyway even if it works it's not going to play the videos because of the ram actually it cannot play videos 
we do have few other games as you can see i have installed drag racing circuit and also i have installed this 1942 year combat so if you want to install any games on this device right now uh, you have to search for the games which support this type of display so you can search like games for 128 by 160 pixel jar games you can get a lot of them actually there are a lot of pages still offer games for this kind of devices if you go to collection there is nothing much like you know, all the typical things besides that you can't really do anything here we do have like calendar and clock and other things and everything works fine the, but the main thing is that this device does look really good actually i still love kind of love this kind of devices i have many of them right now like from siemens from samsung and from nokia i, I really love this kind of devices whole devices but unfortunately i can't really do much with this kind of device just for phone call and messaging they are still working they still looks good as a secondary device if you are in a area where 2g does support maybe you can still buy one of these actually like the phone call quality is really good on this device the the network reception is also really good and it works perfectly fine so that's all about nokia 2630 Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.